everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the difference between vector search as well as hybrid search with respect to Azure Cognitive Search and OpenAI. So I am going to demonstrate you uh, with the example, with an example wherein I am taking a text file and then we'll try to compare the result of both of these flows. So let's get started by opening a Visual Studio code and here I am taking dollhouse as an example text file for my input this I've taken it from the Gutenberg website which you can definitely take it it's freely available and what this book contains that we are not going to discuss but the only thing we should know is it's just a conversation happening between two three people over here so I'm going to close this text file and then I'm going to show you a flow wherein we are just using the vector search we are not going with any other kind of like semantic search or any textual search. So let's get started. So few of the things like setting up the keys or how to create the instance or the resource on the Azure portal that I'm not going to take it up again. If you want, I will point you to my video at the end wherein I have discussed these initial things uh, two days back. Okay, so these are the required packages which I'm importing. So once these packages are imported, let's go ahead and create a vector. So before creating this, I would like to show you that right now, uh, this is the state of my indexes. I don't have any indexes in my this particular resource or under this particular search instance. So when I will run this particular few lines of code, then you will see that the instance is uh, index is created over there. So vector search is same like what we have done before. So let's not get into the details of this because the agenda of this particular video is to just demonstrate the results. Okay, I'm going to close this as well. And then we are going to, we have created the vector configuration. Now we are going to create uh, the index. So for index, I'm just considering three fields, document ID I need, content and the embedding. So embedding is nothing but those numerical values which I was uh, talking initially. So and this document ID is the unique ID for me but you can definitely put any value based on your requirements. Content is the actual text content, content which is in our present in our text book. Okay, so after passing these fields we are going to create an index at the end let me run this once the index is created we need to push in the data so before pushing in the entire text file we need to chunk it down so here I am using text loader which is an offering from Langchain and I am creating a chunk size of 1000 with an overlap of 50 so if little bit information is missing here and there I am okay with that but feel free to adjust these parameters both these parameters according to your needs so so it is created let me show you how many documents are created so you can see like we have a huge list it means the text file itself was quite big now i'm going to create a json because we need to construct the same format with the document id content and the embeddings so give it few seconds it's gonna take some time because we actually took a huge file okay so it's done Next, I'm going to upload that JSON to our index. So this is the statement which is doing this for us. So let's do this. And before that, I will show you where are we right now. So if you will click here, you can see that the handbook, which is the index we just created. So let's go here. And right now you don't see anything because it takes close to a minute to refresh this. But after a while, you can see that the documents and the storage is updated over here okay so let's go back okay and uh, now I'm going to fire the query so what is the discussion about parcel so there was a there was a discussion going on in this chat related to parcel so let me run this query and here what we are doing here is uh, this is the query and we are generating the embedding for this query and saying just give me the top two results if you want more then you can set this parameter to whatever number you want and what we want is we want to perform this thing on the embeddings the column in which we are having those numerical value numeric values so that's why we are passing field as embedding and then here we are defining what all uh, parameters we need for the search client. 
So once this is done, it will give you the result and like we are saying two documents, top two. So you will definitely get two entries for this for loop. So I'm just aggregating the results which we have received and then I'm just showing you text what it actually grabs. So this is the text it has grabbed. And now I'm going to pass this text to OpenAI and say that, okay, answer my question. So here I'm constructing a prompt that answer the question based on the given input. Now the input is the one which we received out of the vector search. And the query is the same. What is the discussion about parcel? So here you can see that the output is something like this. There is some in between conversation, which doesn't make any sense. But from here, if you will read, the discussion was about a parcel that Nora had bought and did not want Halma to see until that evening. So this is what we are getting as a response when we are going with uh, purely with vector search. Okay, now let's run the same experiment with semantic search and see how this particular output is refined in much more better way and to the point. So for that I have created another notebook and I'm going to run these initial things which you must have already seen there but here a few more things got added so now we are going to deal with semantics so these are the you know, four parameters which I have added like four more packages you need to import basically so once you are done with this import let's move ahead with the vector configuration so in vector configuration there is no change it's exactly the same what we did earlier now go ahead and create the search client so this is the major thing where we are making the changes so what i'm doing here is first of all i have introduced uh, just a document name so that we can see what document it is and apart from that uh, i have introduced this particular thing so we need to define the semantic settings now for semantic settings it is a semantic settings class which will take few parameters like configuration so inside the configuration you need to define all the configuration so you can have multiple semantic configuration at once and here you can see it is a list right so it means we can provide more than one and here uh, the name of your semantic configuration the field on which you want to prioritize your content search and here I've written that you can also define prioritize keywords fields if you want so in my case I just thought to keep it simple so I didn't mention it and the document name I took because I want to define as a title field so once this is done next change you need to do is you need to add those semantic settings inside a search index so whenever you are creating search index along with vector search we also need to pass the semantic settings once these changes are done we are good to go let's run it okay and the text chunking part no difference at all it, it is still the same construct json part no change except addition of that new property document name and uh, let if you want i can expand this code you can have a look so about statement which is taking time is it is generating the json okay it's done time to upload the json okay and let's go ahead and let me quickly go here and confirm whether index is created so you can see that this time handbook zero is created and document count is zero because it's going to take some time to update there but that's not a problem let's go ahead and run the same question here and here what i'm doing is i'm also passing a few more parameters so along with vector search i want to perform semantic search and that's the reason we need to pass in the semantic configuration name over here the query language and the query so if you want to know there are many more parameters available with respect to this chain i can point you to that and it is here so this is the documentation and here you can see the query answer which I'm supplying as extracted because I want that extracted you can pass it as none as well there are many more parameters which you can pass it so uh, like the language these are the available languages as of now uh, so I would recommend you to just have a look at this particular page where you can get much more information about what we are doing okay so let's go back to our code and here I'm aggregating the results because we are asking for top two run it 
okay and let me show the content so this time you can see that it is displaying the content actually the way it was in our text file with the same formatting as well and it's time to run a query with respect to open AI so let's pass on that query that text and the query with the same set of parameters and this time you can see that the real res response is much more short and it is saying that the discussion was about the content of the parcel that Nora has bought it is not talking here and that information about when to open when to not open or what is inside that parcel so it's completely on you what kind of uh, search do you want and I just want to tell you a few more things about uh, what actually is happening in case of vector search so like I uh, mentioned earlier uh, here we are combining the result from the full text as well as the numeric values so this gives us an advantage of filtering sorting scoring profile along with the uh, uh, semantic ranking so it's not like that we are using the same algorithm uh, to provide response to the user rather it's a different algorithm which is RRF and it merges the result from both these types of searches so RRF is short for uh, reciprocal rank fusion and what it does is it takes the all the search results from the different different multiple um, from different different methods assigns some reciprocal uh, rank to each of these documents and then combines the score and create uh, a new rank altogether so in simple words if I will say it is like all those documents appearing in the top position in all the searches are more likely to be uh, contained or I would say uh, more likely to be come uh, used as a final search result or considered as a final search result so that's the reason so it completely depends on the scenario what kind of data you are having there are scenarios where in semantic search is giving better results uh, rather than vector search and there are scenarios wherein vector search is better well others are having the hybrid search as their scenario so I hope you understood the difference so if you are looking for a point to point answer or very short then just give a try to hybrid search and you should get a better results altogether I hope you enjoyed watching this video and do give me thumbs up if you find this content useful and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the very first time Thanks for watching.